So a lot of you are probably wondering how do I get my videos to look really good in quality. When you record desktop you can sometimes lose your quality especially if you don't know how to do it properly. So for this video I'm going to show you how I record my videos and how to get the best quality when you are recording your desktop. Now the program that we're going to be using is called OBS. If you've never heard of this program it is short for Open Broadcast Software. Before I used OBS, I used to use Shadowplay and that was absolutely amazing for recording gameplay and desktop. But if you're someone like me who is on a laptop, you won't be able to do this. You won't be able to record your desktop because it isn't really specified as a desktop. You cannot use your graphics card because it is mainly integrated. It's not the actual CPU that is made by Nvidia. So the first thing and the most important thing that you must do before you record any video if you want it to look good is to make sure that the screen brightness is bright enough and you don't have too much contrast because that can throw your video off. So to do this all you got to do is right click on your desktop, go to your graphic settings. Once you get to the screen you go to display and in here you go down to colors. And you just want to make sure that the brightness is on whichever one looks good. You don't want it to be too high, but you don't want it to be too low. You also do want to have some contrast because without contrast, it just looks horrible. So make sure you have at least like 10 contrast or a suitable number. If it's too high, then your videos will look dark. But if it's too low, then your videos will look white. So keep that on a good number. For Hue, I don't really change this one. I leave it on its default number which is zero but saturation you would want to at least adjust this if you change the brightness and contrast because when you change the brightness and contrast you will lose some color so you want to put some color back on to the colors that you've just lost you can then apply it and then you're done now what i would recommend is when you are recording videos to plug your laptop in charge if you're on desktop mode then you don't really need to worry about this but you can still change the brightness of your monitor and that will help out with your videos. Another thing that is really helpful for making videos that look good is to keep your display on 100%. If you put this any higher or any lower, then you can throw off the sharpness of your recordings. Okay, so now to actually get to the settings, we're gonna go ahead and open up OBS. So you want to go to settings. In here, in the general tab, I've not changed anything except from the theme, I've changed this to dark. The stream tab, this one you don't really need to focus on it because you're not streaming. Now to start off with output, you want to go on to recording and you want to also go to output mode to advanced. Okay, so what I use for recording is MP4. I use one audio track because mine tied together with desktop but since I don't really have much desktop noise, I just have one audio track. In the encoder, I've selected NVENC H.264. This is a really good format, so you want to stick yours to that. And you also want to set it to what your screen resolution is. 1080p is really good if you're looking to make tutorials or record your desktop. 720p is okay, but on full screen, you will lose quality when you preview it on YouTube. Okay, so now we get to the actual important settings. This is the quality of your videos, and this is the bitrate. What I like to use is something called CQP, and this one is really good for quality when you are recording. It's not for streaming, but it is for recording, and I've set mine to 20. You want to leave it on default, have it on main and leave the levels on auto. I also use two pass encoding. I'll leave this on zero and the B frames on two. So you just want to adjust yours to this. Now, if your computer can't handle this, you can always lower this number or stick with CBR or VBR. Lossless is good, but it requires a lot, and I mean a lot, it will put a lot of stress on your computer because lossless is a format which doesn't compress the video down. So you will be left with huge files when you are recording your videos. Moving on to audio, this is something 
quite simple. All you got to do is look for the mic or the microphone and set it to whichever microphone you have. And the other one, you want to go to desktop audio device and set one to default. The downscale filter, you want to have this on the highest option, which is 32 samples. If you can't run it like this, then lower it to 16 and sharpened and put the frame rate to 60. And the very last option, we get to advanced. And in here, you just want to put your processing priority to above normal. If your computer can't handle this, leave it on normal, but it's always best to go slightly above normal because that means your computer can use a lot more power to focus on the recording and your recording will look a lot smoother. For the video, you just leave this on direct 3D 11. For the renderer, leave the color format on NV12. And you want to leave your color space on default, which is 601. I did change this myself to the highest one. And personally, I didn't find it very good at all. And you just want to leave the YUV color range on the default setting. These options, you don't really need to change. I've not changed them myself. And that is pretty much it. You just want to press OK. And that is my settings for OBS. And that is how I record all my tutorials. If you'd like to see my render settings, you can always click on my channel and watch the videos which I have up. You can either click a link in the description or you can click on the screen and that will take you to the videos. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment on what you thought of the video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.